so hello and welcome back so in this video we will talk about uh, sorting numbers in ascending and descending order so sorting numbers in ascending and descending what that means is that essentially you have a list of numbers for example 160 and 154 and 158 and for example 159 let's say that these are the heights of for example four students right and those all are basically in centimeters for example uh, but whatever they represent you want to essentially you want to sort them in you want to essentially um, stand these students from the for example from the shortest to the tallest so for example the student whose height is 154 centimeters would be this student over here now something like this the student with the 100 this is 154 for example the student with 158 for example would be a little bit higher so that is 158 159 would be a little bit higher so of course the that would be that would be the student and this would be the student and this is 159 and then 160 would be a little bit higher right this is 159 these are these are the students so you can you can essentially you can ask them to stand in a line for example from the shortest one to the tallest one or vice versa you can ask them to 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 stand in a line from the tallest one to the shortest one so if they stand in the line from the shortest one to the tallest one you can see that the, the, the height is increasing meaning it is ascending meaning that the height is ascending if they stand in a line the other way around meaning from the tallest one to the shortest one then the height would be decreasing right decreasing meaning descending so to if 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 essentially if you if you think that you might forget these two words of course these are english words you, you already understand them but if you happen to I mean, if you if you, if you if you think that you might forget these words, you can think of a mountain. For example, let's say that this is a mountain, and this is the this is essentially the mountain. This is the top of the mountain, right? When you are essentially, if you go this way, meaning moving towards the top of the mountain, you are ascending. and when you when you get to the, to the top of the mountain and then you have to come down so then in that case you are descending right now of course you can you can think of essentially you can think of you can think of ascending and descending also in terms of numbers when you ascend when you're ascending the height over here is for example zero right the height over here is, for example, I don't know, uh, for example, 200, let's, let's say 8,000 kilometers, right? Let's say that these numbers are in kilometers, for example, or in miles or something like that. And then again, when you come back over here, the height becomes zero. That means that and then over here, for example, the height becomes something like 4,000. Over here, it's something like 2,000. Over here, it's something like, for example, uh, uh four eight six thousand right so as you as you ascend the numbers start from the from the smallest numbers and then you get to the to the largest number right and then when you descend the numbers start from the from the from the largest number and then you end up with the with the smallest number meaning that if you were to if you were to essentially um, write this list in the ascending order meaning to sort these numbers in the ascending order of course you would start from the 
this is ascending order and this is for example descending order right in the ascending order you would start from the very smallest number and you will end up with the largest number for example 154 comma 158 and then 159 and then 160 that would be the ascending order starting from the smallest number ending up with the largest number descending would be the opposite of this situation meaning you start from the largest number end up with the smallest number so you have 160 159 158 and for example 154 right so so then for example let's say that you have you have the price you have essentially you want to buy it. for example you go to the market and then you have you see for example four different types of five different types of cupboards with different price tags for example 2635 let's say that this is in either in rupees or in dollars or whatever the this is essentially some amount of money basically or you have 1800 for example 97 or you have for example 2854 or you have 1788 or you have 3975 right so these are price tags of five different covers basically so depending on the, on the on the amount of budget that you have specified for that cover then you can you can decide of course you can first list the numbers in an ascending or in, or in a descending order in order to aid you in uh, in your decision making process so in an ascending order in an ascending order the numbers would be starting from the start from the smallest one to the largest one the smallest one on this list would be 1788 1788 after that you have 1897 after that you have 2635 and after that you have 2854 right in a descending order in a descending order you have to start from remember descending meaning you are at the top of the mountain and you are descending so you're at the at the 8000 height 8000 kilometer height and you are moving towards the height of zero right so that means that your numbers start from the very the, the largest one and then you end up with the with the smallest number so that means that essentially uh, you have to write the same list in the in the in the opposite order or in the reverse order basically so you have 2800 for example 54 or 2635 and 18 for example 1897 and 1788 right and then since essentially for example you would use this list over here which is which is sorted in an ascending order and then depending on the amount of money that you want to spend on that cupboard you would choose one of them and then of course you have to you would you would you would um, also take take into consideration other factors as, as well like quality and other factors like that and then you would you would buy one of those cupboards so that's all about that now let's take a couple of examples here let's say that you have a list of numbers and you want to arrange these numbers in ascending order you want to arrange these numbers in ascending order so you have 847 9754 and you have 83 two zero and you have 571 right and you want to write this list in an in an ascending order in an ascending order means essentially starting from this very smallest numbers and 
to essentially to choose essentially to find the smallest number what you will do essentially first of all you you can see that over here you have three digits over here you have three digits over here you have four digits and over here you have four digits which means that these two numbers each and each and every one of these two numbers is supposed to be larger than any of any of this number or this number because because essentially these two numbers each has 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 essentially four digits and as we discussed before the higher the number of digits in a number the the, the higher the value of that number so that means that essentially these two numbers are going to be at the end of your list because you're you're writing your numbers in an ascending order so first we have to start with these two numbers which have which have essentially three digits right but then you have to choose essentially you have to to decide which one of these numbers is the smallest one so i'm going to go for since the number of digits are the same i'm going to the largest place value in the numbers and compare the digits so over here the the digits over here the digit is five it's, it's an eight over here which means that this number is the smallest one right and then after that comes essentially this number now comes essentially these two numbers so you have to compare these two as well the same number of digits so then you can you you need to go to the largest place value in the numbers and compare the two digits so you have an eight over here you have a nine over here so that means that this number is smaller than this one so that then you would have essentially number three and number four which means that if you go from one two three and four you would start from the smallest number and all the way up to the largest number so here I'm going to write the in the ascending order 571 and then number 2 is 847 number 3 is 8320 and 9754 and I can see that of course this number is greater than this number this number is greater than this number this number is greater than this number this is the smallest number this is the largest number and so that is essentially writing these numbers in an ascending order, right? Now I'm going to give you an exercise here that you can do on your own. For example, the numbers, this was part A of this exercise. Part B is, for example, 9801 and 25751 and 36, and 38802 then you can essentially you, you have to you need to write the same list in an ascending order okay another example i want to write uh, i want to write another exercise would be a nut would be arrange the following numbers in descending order in descending order I will do one of them. So let's say that the numbers are 5,000 and 7,500 and 85,400 and 7,861. Right? And I want to, to make, to, to, to write this list in, an, in a descending order. Descending means starting from the largest number all the way up to the smallest number so i can i first i will go with the number of digits the number of digits over here is four over here is three plus two is five over here is a four over here is a four right so that means that this number is larger than any of these of these three numbers that have four digits right so which one is the essentially among these numbers among this number this number and this number which one is the smallest one the smallest one would be 
if I go with the largest place value in these numbers and compare, I have a 5, 7, and 7, right? So that means that this number is smaller than any of these two numbers. So I'm going to write this as the smallest number, right? Now I can compare these two. Now the same number of digits and the same number of digits and then when we compare the largest place value in the in the two numbers I have the same digits again so I have to move to the next place value I have a 5 over here I have an 8 over here which means that this number is smaller than this number so this would be the second one and this would be the third one and then of course this number having 5 digits it would be the largest number right so one two three and four starting from one we have the smallest number all the way up to four which is the largest number now i need to write these numbers in a descending order meaning starting from the largest number so 80 85400 and then number three would be seven eight six one and then number two would be seven five zero zero and then number four number one would be five thousand right now i can see that this number is the largest on this list this number is the smallest on this list and then as i move towards the right you can see that the numbers are getting smaller and smaller which means that i have written them in a descending order okay So, as an, as an exercise for you, so let's say that I have a bunch of, a list of numbers, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, and 8, 8, 7, 1, 5, and 9, 2, 5, 547. So, this you're supposed to write in a, this list you're supposed to write it in a descending order okay so i'm going to end this video here i'll see you in the next video and thank you